I don't like um, cleaning up like the garage because like my brother always like I leave up like a lot of stuff out there. So. Okay. Um, my name is Quan, uh, UCLA. I hate the dishes. Why, why is that? Because uh, there's a dishwasher. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. Yeah. My name is Sang, uh, UCLA, California. Um, I hate cleaning the toilet. A lot of stuff goes on. on the toilet. <laughs> uh, my name is Hugh. Uh, I'm from UCLA, uh, from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I don't like to mop the floor because you gotta like bend down and stuff. Um, I don't, my name is Melissa, I'm from UCLA, um, and I don't like doing laundry because it costs like four bucks each time. I just don't have change, you know, you just gotta go get money all the time. Hi, my name is Jack Tran, uh, Houston, Texas, Houston. University of Houston, and I don't like clean my car because it's too long. Uh, too much help. Hi, I'm Christine, I'm from California, uh, I don't like this. I have to take the big boxes and see if I can find Hi, I'm Ken. I went to the CI. Um, I do not like painting. Last time I had in my eye. <laughs> <laughs>
you guys can remember what you said, why you didn't like doing that chore, and it's not a chore. We're all mature here, you know? I mean, it's fun. Instead of saying, I don't like that chore, tag on, I don't like sex because. Because of what you said. Uh, because of what you said. <laughs> all right, so you want to go to I remember what you guys said. Yeah. yeah. Is a machine? What the fuck? I'm 
Heavy and mighty. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, no, the, the guy who said that. Yeah, he said because uh, yeah. he makes his kids do it. Yeah, so, at the beginning. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, Melissa right, so Cruz was the funniest. So much, uh, okay. <laughs> Just food. Four dollars. We're, we're a little <laughs> crushed in time, we are. A little, um, the presentation that we're going to go over, we're going to try to speed through it. It's going to be all on, on, on here. You're going to see. Uh, try to keep up with us. Uh, we will run through it um, pretty fast because we have a, a lot to, to share with you that, that we know works and hopefully that you guys can soak in. So if you guys can please bear with us. So we get started? Okay. Okay, guys. Um, Recruitment retention, just where you guys are at. Um, basically, it's to hopefully to help you guys be members so it keeps your club thriving and alive. So, um, a little bio about us, you already know. Um, this is the, we're going to shoot through it, don't worry about it. You guys can read inside the book. Same with me, don't worry about it. You notice how this is all like two pages? No, don't no worry. <laughs> um, this, is, this is a quick overview. This is what we'll be going through. For recruitment, there are three bullet points that we want to talk about for retention. Five. And then finally, conclude with the uh, steps for success and then QA. So, in saying that, we're going to jump right into recruitment. Recruitment! Basically, um, this is what I would say is the um, when, when, when we think about recruitment, we have to know the organization that we're in and that we're recruiting in order to recruit. Basically, because you got to have that foundation in there. And um, we started off by what I said here foundation, envisioning the, envisioning the organization. <laughs> Um, basically, run through a couple of questions in your head. If you can answer these questions, then you guys are set to recruit members. Because when you recruit members, they're going to ask you all these questions. And so in the back of your head, just keep in mind. Uh, first, the first question to ask yourself is... Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. There we go. Why do we exist? Um, let me just go back for you guys. Why do we exist? Um, these, these are pictures of uh, really now, guys. I mean, why does your organization exist? I, it, it's just, just. just <laughs> um, it could be, you know, if it's a BSA, whatever organization, just think, why does your organization exist? Second thing is, what's special? What's so special about your organization? What makes you different uh, from any other organization? Why us? Meaning, why did you guys join? Or why are you a part of it? Because at, at some point, you are a part of it, and you can recruit someone that just has the same, the same mentality that you do. So just think, why are you guys a part of it? Who's your target audience? Um, target. You know, who, who's your target audience? Who are you trying to focus at? Um, you know, on campus, wherever it is that you're looking. <clears throat> Why, um, why uh, I mean, why volunteer? At the same time, it's, it's kind of like, uh, why should they volunteer for your organization? So what do you have to offer? And at the same time, to add to that, um, what makes it unique, which is the same thing as what's special, uh, your organization is it, uh, unique in what sense, meaning what benefits do you have, if, if you have any benefits for them. Because at the same time, we're all volunteering here, we're all doing this for free. And so, you know, how are they gonna benefit from your organization? And uh, what projects and events do you guys have? Because uh, sometimes there's different um, uh, people who join things for different reasons, and you have to have projects. You have to have some meat in your organization. It can't just be all about fun and games. It has to be something that you know, some people want a deeper meaning and a deeper cause to it. So think about that too. So, all right. so once you're on the foundation of your organization, you're going to need the, the planning process, how to build it, how to make it stronger. So the first point we have is uh, to actively seek member. There's no club if there aren't any members. Uh, make sure you guys do it year long, not just during uh, fall quarter or rush week. Do it year long and do it do it aggressively. You know whether it's phone banking, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, create a logo. Give your give your VSA or club a face. Give it an identity. Put all that stuff on your flyers, your, your pamphlets, your your website. Uh, when they see it, it's like repetition. They know exactly. It's exactly. Whether it's Purdue or whether it's uh, UCI. Uh, oh, create a website. This is uh, this. Being in the 21st century, now everyone goes on these websites and we can learn about your organization, what your upcoming events are. Uh, take advantage of all that. Appeal to the needs. Um, basically, see what your members want. You know, the best way to do that is to ask, what do you guys want to see out of uh, our organization, out of BSA? What, what, how can we make it better? Um, ask them. Provide benefits. Um, come out, if say you have someone who likes community service, you know, 
give them opportunity for community service, give, give them a realm that they can come in and express themselves, have fun, whatever it is that they enjoy. Uh, project personality. This is to, I would say, to evaluate your PSA, uh, whether it's you know, after every quarter. Just kind of go back with your members and your cabinet just to see how, how we're doing, what are, what are our goals, and what can we improve on. Provide sampling. This is to every club, we have different types of people. Provide you know, different types of events, mixers, uh, recruitment meetings, uh, fundraising, whatever it is. The um, if we can go back really quick. This is the preparation. This is stuff that we mentioned to you guys. This is stuff that you do before you start recruiting. Prepare yourself in recruiting. So. <clears throat> okay, the last of the three that we mentioned is the actually the action going out there and actively recruiting and this by this time you guys are ready to go and actively recruit and so we have a list of what we think works well actually what we seen work um, you guys uh, have others we'll, we'll run through it but uh, activities fair get on uh, get on the schedule get on the program to go to activities fair and uh, to, to promote your organization because that's when all the freshmen flood in so, um, Uh, okay, next thing would uh, next thing would be newspaper. Uh, get yourself onto the school newspaper. Um, they have newspapers that you can put your schedule on there, put your agenda, put your meeting times in there. And so, because sometimes people might not know and they're reading the newspaper, the school newspaper, and they'll see it and they'll say, "Oh, that's cool. I know." Okay. Um, next thing. Sorry, guys. If it was or whatever it was. Um, Want me to just go through it like you said? Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah, I can go through it. Flyers. Uh, hand out flyers uh, because when you guys make flyers, it's, it's a quick and easy way to just shoot around and just give it to people to uh, kind of like promote whatever you're promoting. Banners. Uh, banners and kiosks. Basically, uh, there's banners that you guys can make that just uh, would just. Uh, just target audience people that just walk by that don't even want to like you know talk to anybody. You know they'll, they'll look at it, they'll read it, they'll okay. They lodge it in the back of their head. And kiosks at the same time, you can put like posters and such up there. Um, you know what? Go ahead. Uh, let me fix this. We kind of want to show you. Yeah, we'll just talk about it real quick. Do you do banners and kiosks? Yeah. Okay. So website. Make sure you guys have the website we talked about. Uh, presentation videos. Whether it's creative, and we're going to show you guys a video in a second, but uh, just. Any creative way you guys can uh, recruit members. Uh, tabling. Okay. We all have. We have events on campus. Yeah. Newspapers, flyers, banners and kiosks, website. Again, create a website because this is the way for you to promote for the folks that don't want to come up to your table. Uh, there are going to be folks that just look at your website and say, you know what, I want to know about that organization, but I don't want to talk to them because you know there are some people out there like that. So we want to hit everybody. Presentations and websites. I'm sorry, videos. Presentations, you can go into class, make presentations, go into dorm room, make presentations, make videos uh, about your VSA, about your club, whatever it is. And so it, it makes it a little bit more interactive, uh, kind of like other than just speaking to them. Tabling. Um, this is, if, if you can see, tabling is basically, you guys, I'm not sure if you know, it's just a table in the middle of a certain quad, wherever it is, um, to kind of promote your VSA along the, the walkway at school or whatnot. This picture. This is uh, actually at UCI, and we have an event called Rainbow Fest, and it's when all the, the cultural clubs, they come out, they express their, their organization, and in this case, it was VSA. Uh, that is actually Trang over there, Trang White. And what we did was we, we take it out with uh, traditional um, umbrellas, um, gonglas, we have a that we made for our culture that we brought out. Um, we still have spring rolls and egg rolls, and basically, students just walk by, alumni, or faculty, they walk by, and they, they support us. Um, here we allow students to walk by and sit in the sit low and take a picture with four lovely Vietnamese women in their alley eyes. And what we did was we, we took with a digital camera and we posted them online so that they can go back. Um, that way, trying to hook them to our website. And maybe you know they'll be like, hey, you know they, they have this event coming up. Maybe I'll come out for this general meeting. So that's what uh, that's what UCI did. And also at the same time, it's a good fundraiser because they charge twenty five cents to sit to, to sit there with the four ladies. So, all right, uh, contact database. Uh, each school, um, hopefully you guys can get access to a list of emails of all of incoming freshmen of all the Vietnamese students at your school. And what, you, uh, what we have done 
is basically get that entire list and shoot it out at once and say, you know what, on behalf of BSA, we'd like to welcome you to another year or uh, welcome you as an incoming freshman to our school, this and that. And so here's our club. If you're interested, please join us. It's like the first initial email. It's kind of like don't mass email them all the time, but it's just a welcome email. Lastly, uh, email and listen groups. Eventually, you want to get them onto a list when they sign up and get them onto a, a, a distribution list so you can email out and say, you know what, um, we have this event coming up so that you don't have to retype emails every single time. Uh, staff drive. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but staff drive is like, let's say for example, you have a staff of 10 people um, and maybe you have you know, 10 potential members. And so eventually, throughout the time, you can encourage your staff, you know what, let's bring in one more, uh, each of us bring in one staff. So you have like 10 staff, you have like 10 members already, and that's 20 people. Each of you guys bring in 10 folks, that's like 30 people for one club. And so it, it, it's basically essentially each staff trying to drive himself or bring in one extra person or, you know, make it a competition. The more you bring in, maybe you win like a little prize or, you know, whatever it is. So. <clears throat> You know, when you get desperate, you go back to the former or inactive members of the st or the staff. You know what, say, the, the previous leadership, you know what, you guys did such a good job last year, come back and join us, you know, support us, this and that. Or uh, inactive members, you know what, there's a new leadership this year, check us out, come out, check us out. Uh, and hopefully it might be something that interests you this year as opposed to last year or so. Uh, you know, when you, get, when, 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 when you get real desperate, you go to other organizations. So we tap into other organizations, go to their meetings, and say, oh, hey, how's it going, and this and that, make friends, and say, oh, you know what, you should check out BSA, it's pretty much the same thing, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, and it's actually really good to so just yeah. to know about other clubs. Yeah, and, members and get on their emailing list so that you know, you, you can communicate too and say, hey guys, I'm, I'm going to head over to this meeting, uh, BSA, I don't know if you guys heard of it, so you guys want to join it, you know, so. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's when you get really desperate, but any other. What have you guys done that has worked? Because these are stuff that we have seen that works very, very well. And so, I'm sorry, I mean, Facebook. 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 Yes, yes, good. yes. That's good. Just, just talking to people one on one. Talking to people one on one. I'm sorry, your name again is uh, Hugh. Hugh. That's right. Hugh. Melissa. Oh, I was gonna say, um, welcome week activity. Welcome week activity. Good. Which is kind of like activities fair and all that yes. stuff too. Yes. Your name again. Yeah. Ken. That's right. Uh, drive your friends. Drive your friends is perfect. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Your <coughs> friends is awesome. That's, 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 that's an awesome way. Let's say if you don't have an event on your campus, then you bring your members to other schools' campus to go and Oh, there you go. It, it, it works, but what he's mentioning is, is in Southern California, we have a lot of schools, uh, and so we kind of like, uh, as Tony, you were saying, bring your members to other schools and it kind of meets with the other members and it encourages them too. So, sorry. I'm your, your name again? Uh, Andy? Andy. We usually like um, a little picnic or like um, like game day, like where like people just come out or like um, ice cream social and stuff. Yeah. So people to come out. Yeah. Picnics and stuff. You can, you can always host picnics, which is what I think Ben was mentioning earlier. Samplings. Sampling is basically having like things where people can come and sample what your club is about. Picnics, ice cream socials, <coughs> and such like that. So I just want to say. There's nothing more that attracts a poor college student than free food. <laughs> so, yes, I'm sorry, your name again is... No, no, I actually have this idea on um, direct approach. I actually would talk to people in my class and I noticed that they look at me. So I would just head over to my class and say, like, you know, no, I'm serious. And they would be like, yeah. But like, oh, you know, there's a BSA, blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? Most of the time they never even heard about it or they just need the extra push because they don't yeah. really know anybody right. here. I mean, so it's more of a... Kind of, oh, you're like, you're you're but, yeah. Huh? Don't say what's not. Oh, really? Oh. Well, it's worked before. They actually came. Okay. Just be like, are you interested in learning about the music culture? Uh, that's good. That's good. Any others? Um, you got like cute girls in your organization. You got like cute girls. Right. Or uh, got in the front guys part. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like uh, showcase <laughs> what you have. Anything else? Okay, good. They were all really, really good. Um, hopefully, you guys can jot some of that stuff down and bring it back. That's And this is a picture of, I don't know if you guys know, UCLA um, in Southern California. Um, 
might, might have changed that, but um, I think it still is. One of the biggest uh, Vietnamese organizations that we had in terms of size at that time when I was there um, that, that I helped out. Um, this was just a picture of about approximately like, I think 70 members. And uh, what UCLA does is they break up, this is their first general meeting, they break up their, their people up into families, okay? And this is one of 12 families, and this is 70 so people. Uh, in one family, and that was a family that Boo and I recruited hardcore. Like we were, we, we helped table every single day, and this was the. And, and when we got there, this is the little little sign-up sheet that we had to kind of recruit people. And so, just use um, the stuff that we mentioned because it really, really works. It really brings in people, and so um, hopefully it works for you guys too. So that's just a picture. It's kind of hard to see. So, all right. So now that we've talked about the three steps of recruiting, once you recruit. Your next biggest goal and step is to retain. And uh, the best way we can do that is through our weekly, bi weekly, frozen, general meetings. Um, thank you. Have consistent meetings, whether, whether you guys have once a week or, or twice uh, a month, bi weekly. Um, have consistent. Same room, if you guys can, same room, same time, same day. That way they, they know. They can always remember hey, it's Thursday, 6 30. Gotta come up to BSA with my friend. Or remind them of posters on campus as well. That's something we didn't talk about. Um, next part we have is clear goals. Come in, we try this at our BSA at UCI, and we try to have a theme for every general meeting, whether this theme would be dating or the next one would be culture gap. We would center that theme around the activities we would ask, the intro questions that we would do, and some of the, uh, the skits that we might put on. So they come in and, and they walk away with something that, that they knew, and it's not all, all jumbled and everywhere. They're like, well, you know, what's the purpose of this meeting here? Agenda, which is just what I was talking about. Uh, calendar. This goes on our, you guys put it on our website. It works technically. I've been on most of your websites and I've seen that you all have a calendar. Uh, it's updated. You click on it, there's info. You know, they know if they can plan their week. If they have a midterm, they can write their paper or study in advance so that they can come up to your, your barbecue or your picnic, whatever it is. Yeah, and, and to add to that, you can hand that calendar to them at the first general meeting and say, you know what? This is the list of stuff we have, and they're gonna say, "Well, that's cool. All this stuff, all this picnic, this and this and this and this, and the meetings on it." Too. Just, just a heads up, so that they know. You know, you're so that you're just not telling them that Thursday. Hey, you guys, tomorrow, we're we're having this big event. You guys want to come out? They probably won't. You know what? To be creative, like you guys can make it in a book map, uh, a bookmark form, so they can just slip it into a book and say, "Oh, that's cool," and then use it. And then when they open their books, like, "Oh, shit, yeah." Cricket today. <laughs> Um, sign sheet. I know a lot of a lot of you guys have done it, but you know, have a sign sheet at the general meeting. Uh, email address, you know, name, year, just to know them. You guys can create that database off of that. And at the same time, you guys can use this to, to create your incentive program. You know, if you come out to three general meetings and you can have a t shirt for half off or whatever maybe. Whatever way you can try to retain them to come back and always coming back. Always have a sign up sheet because I think that's really, really important. That's you know, one way you're gonna get in touch with Icebreakers and activities. You know, just like what we did with you guys. You guys came in, didn't really know anyone, it was a little quiet. You broke the ice, you guys started laughing, you know, you don't like sex because you get stains on your hands. You know, whatever it is, do activities, get, get them moving, get them interacting and talking. Um, unfortunately, I think that for members to come back and to retain them, you know, while each PSA has a goal and a purpose, if it's fun, they'll like it, they'll come back. You know, it's like, you know what, I laughed a lot. I met this cool person who made me laugh, or I, I said something that I usually don't. Come out, come out, same with these icebreakers. What about you guys? What, what are some things that you guys do at your general meetings that you think can help retain members that we have listed up here? Any other methods, whether it's food, who's one? Intramurals. Intramurals, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Good job. Um, good to have events right after the general meeting? Yes, so it's like after events. Mm -hmm. After events, like just to follow through, because sometimes they don't have that's perfect. After events, give you, they just give you the opportunity to actually be in a setting, and whether you're out, like, at a, at a goal place, you can sit down and talk and get to know them better. You might want to keep your meetings like, uh, to one hour, because uh, like, if you drag it on, then uh, it gets tedious, and people yeah. probably won't go to the social event. What about, uh, what about starting on time? Do you yeah. guys normally start, start on time? time. You do? Yeah. Should, should we start on time? Yes. Yes? yes. 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 Try mixing it up with, with you know, general members. 
uh, not being there when I give the worst one on next. Um, the cabinet uh, tries to reach out to this member to talk to the uh, get a connection. And then you can Facebook them. And Facebook them. And then you can them. <laughs> any, others, any, any others that you know, work for you guys? That, remember their names. Remember their names. <laughs> and your name again is? <laughs> Boom. Meeting. If you missed it, um, YouTube. This is something that is flourishing. 
And you know, if you guys have videos, if you guys have footage of your traditional dance, your modern hip hop or line dance, you know, put it up. Um, anyone in the world can view it, and they're like, hey, you know what? You see Santa Cruz. I, I never heard of them, but they. Sorry, if any of you guys are Santa Cruz. But they're like, hey, you know what? That's pretty cool. They're doing this, you know, awesome dance for Culture Night. Newspaper, whether it's on campus or within your community, try putting flyers out or a little blurb about, hey, we're we're going out. We're doing like a beach cleanup. You guys want to come out and help support us? Just get your name out. That's the best way. Uh, face to face. I don't know, it might not be the same face to face, but you walk on campus, you see someone, you know, start talking to us. Don't don't feel like, oh shoot, it's him again. Just let them know. They're they're gonna feel much more welcome, and they're gonna be more much more likely to come out. You guys are gonna face to face talk. Right? Um, others, do you guys have any other suggestions on how we can effectively communicate to our potential and current members that we have touched upon here? Other ways that you reach out to your members and communicate? Um, we have like sound cords that are like yeah. on the, like, there's something that's going to come through and walk at UCLA, and it's kind of, it's not really advertising that we put like, generally this weekend, or this week, so when they walk, walk by, yeah. Cool. Instead of making them the DSA number, you make them like your friends can call them, hey, let's go out and you know, try to get that bond, so we have a good thing. If you're really desperate, you can guilt trip your friends. Trick your friends? Guilt trip. Guilt trip. Oh, guilt. Guilt trip. Yeah. Oh, like no, not triple. Good. 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 First thing you can do is initiate public kudos. Uh, basically, at meetings, and say, you know what? Um, uh, last week, um, this one person really stepped up and did an outstanding job, and wanted to, you know, uh, publicly thank her for her efforts in coordinating this event that we had. So, you know, thank you so much, whoever, yada yada. And so, publicly, you know, recognize them because it makes them feel special, and warm and fuzzy inside. So. <laughs> and to get them even more warm and fuzzy, do it with personal notes too, and say, you know what? Um, if you're a president, this is your role. And say, you know what? You, uh, I just wanted to shoot you an email and say that you did an awesome job last week. Uh, thank you so much for your help. Um, even though you're not a staff, but we really, really appreciate your, you know, dedication, and such and such. And so, yeah. yeah there's, there's a. Keep in mind though, you, you, you want to give them kudos about saying you don't want to come off as creepy. Hey, Christine, I just wanted to say thanks for coming down. There's that. Just be careful with that. Yeah. Um, Lastly, is like uh, you know, uh, present them with like treats, maybe whatever it is, slash food. You have something, and I was thinking, you know, what better way, uh, what what better thing to give them is kudos, you know? So that's, what, <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Yeah. So you know, you can give them a variety pack and said, you know, like you did such a good job, such a good job. You. you get like the, the nuts and the M and M ones, you know? <laughs> so uh, reward them, guys. Make them feel appreciated. They'll like feel they'll stay that way because they know that you, you like. Them. All right, the fifth part to retention is what we call the combination. Fun and work. We all have missions and goals. How, how can we make that fun at the same time we accomplish our goals and mission? <laughs> so first, host retreats, whether they're just your executive board or cabinet retreats, or if they're retreats that are open to your members as well, you know, like winter retreats or spring break retreats. Um, I found on those retreats, you guys, you guys go on more than ever. You know, you start... Some campuses choose to drink. I'm not saying you have to, but you know when you do, you guys become you guys become much closer. And then when, <laughs> when you when you come back to the general meeting, like, hey, I remember you and I. You know, I, I know more about you than I did. <laughs> so retreats are always good. Like, you're not just seeing them for two hours a day. You're, you're going to be there for like you know 40, 48 hours, or whatever, living with them. Um, Excited participation. You know. Be, be loud, use megaphones, just do whatever it takes, you know, come in with funky clothing. Today, Mike, like, got me to wear this matching tie with him. So hopefully, oh, hopefully that's right. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. So, I'm not the kudos. So, you know, whatever it is, you guys come in as, as a cabinet, manage, whatever it is. I didn't see. Icebreakers, I know we talked about that. Fun equals retention. Um, be creative when you guys do that. Costumes, do, do skits, whatever it is, just 
something that they don't anticipate when they come that day. Okay, and at this point, Mike's going to run through some tips for some okay. tips. So basically, you guys had all, all that. Uh, we ran through a lot. We're going to just refresh you with uh, a one-liner of each of those things. Okay, so hopefully it'll, it'll re refresh you a little bit. Um, real quick. First thing is review your organizational goals annually or semi-annually. Know that you guys keep yourself all on the same page, keep all your staff on the same page, because it's not one person doing recruiting. It's like all of you guys doing recruiting. And keep in, keep in mind that the recruiter or whoever is doing the recruiting, you guys are like the lifeblood of the organization. You bring in you bring in the flow for the organization. You keep the organization alive because the members itself are the blood of your organization. So uh, you guys are very, very important. So review your goals and keep everybody on the same page. Um, sorry, guys. Um, okay, we're going to have to just read it then. Um, we'll wrap the end, so. Have clearly stated goals and objectives yeah. for each project or event. You know, if it's a culture night, if it's uh, a pageant, or a fundraiser, you know, know what your budget is. Know, know what you guys are, what the purpose of this passion is, um, so that you can, can tell us your members that they know, you know why, why we're doing this. And that every year you guys know, you know what is the purpose of this show? Why do we have it? Okay. Next thing is, uh, great. Okay. Uh, make, make members feel welcome at every single meeting. And, and we want to stress every single meeting. You know, you run through your first meeting, you did such a good job, but don't, don't assume that they're going to come back with the same feeling that, like, if, if you can ignore them, they're going to be feeling the same way, they're going to help you. So always come up and say, oh, hey, what's up, what's going on? Uh, good job like yesterday, and, and, and you know, hopefully uh, you, you can participate in our next event, you know, whatever it is. So make them feel welcome every time. Next is provide meaningful opportunities for involvement, um, meaning, uh, meaning that, like, uh, give them a chance to involve, get, get involved, and we, we mentioned this before, too great program, whatever it is that gets them going. So get them inside, get them uh, you know, helping out of your organization. Next is provide opportunities for member inputs. Like I was saying before, feedback, seek it. Because sometimes they're not in your organization for a reason or they don't like a certain thing, and just ask them, you know what, is there something that you know you want us to do you know, more of that, that interests you? You know, I, I don't see you, uh, like, you know, expressing your uh, feedback a little bit, so encourage them to tell you what motivates them. Uh, create a positive environment for the organization, meaning that be not, uh, do not be afraid to get criticism or, 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 or when you're seeking feedback and say, you know what, you guys did this, I think you guys can do a better job here. You know what, thank you so much. That's, that's a really good um, point and we will try to do that next time. So, you know, create a good environment for them and say that, you know what, you are part of the organization and we are here and we want to work with you and we want you guys to be a part of us too. So. Uh, make your staff and member feel special and appreciated, like I mentioned Kudos. before. Kudos. Kudos. Always, you know, say thanks, you know, publicly thank them, personal, whatever it is, treats and everything. So, uh, meet and feed the need, meaning be prepared um, and um, be prepared and motivate yourself. It's, it's, it's basically uh, saying that energy is contagious, meaning that if you're if you're happy, if you're if you're gonna smile at someone. They're going to smile back at you, you know, project that energy to them at the same time, feed their need, meaning that, you know, they might have a, a burning need inside, that they want to do this for your, 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 your organization, and so talk to them. So, the last thing is have fun, you know. You guys are all volunteer, you don't want to make it boring, so keep it fun, keep it lively. So, um, we actually, uh, any questions and comments? We actually, I know that that was a lot, so we actually printed it out for you guys. We printed it all back to you guys, so I apologize for the note table. Oh, no. so, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so we encourage you to bring back whatever we mentioned to your organization and use it. These are, this is our email address. If you guys want, you can jot it down. Um, shoot us an email. If you guys have like questions on like, recruiting or whatever, questions on like an activity, because you know what, we really wanted to give you a sheet, a list of activities, because you know, we do a lot of activities, that, that uh, icebreakers and stuff that works, and so if you guys are stuck somewhere, you know what, we have to start from, you know, we need some help here and there, shoot us an email, and we will shoot you back and say, you know what, try this, try this, see if this works, maybe you should have a website. Yeah, are you really going to shoot that? Huh? Yeah, but <laughs> I will. We, we will respond. <laughs> eventually. 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 Questions? Any other questions or comments? Questions? Yes. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Um.
with the building coalition with schools, um, how do you go about that? Like the building coalition meeting, like yeah, connecting with other schools. Oh, um, I would say try to try to come out to their events, encourage them to come out to your events as well, bring your members, um, stay connected to what's going on with them through their website. You know, leave something on the form. Hey, what's up? You know, from San Diego State, just want to say hello. That way, you guys can be connected through cyberspace, at least. Um, I can talk to you more about that saying, but uh, to, to, to answer your question, I think also that to end with what it's saying, get to know that other organization, because if you know the other organization, you can kind of go over there and see what they're interested in and come back to your organization and say, you know what, let's add this port to this portion and then encourage them to kind of like work conjunctively. And so when you guys work together on a specific project, that's when you guys start like connecting. So we can talk more. Just a comment on that, just like um, for our VSA and our days, we usually like um, have like invitations and stuff for like two other uh, UCs or like, um, like the cabinet and stuff. Yeah. So like they come to our events oh, and so they can interact with us too. Invite other UCs or invite, I'm sorry, invite other organizations. That's pretty good. Say so have invitations. That's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not allowed to talk about this. You guys have any comments or questions? Please feel free to uh, contact uh, us or email. We actually uh, will leave you with a video. Uh, you guys have to go, go, um, but we're going to leave you with a video that, that they actually, uh, that UCI, which is a school that has a lot of Vietnamese folks, um, made a video to kind of promote their VSA. And so we're going to do this. Yes. I go. How long is it? This is what we did during the summer. How long is it? It's eight minutes. Well, thank you. Thank you.